Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Dashcraft, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to be able to make your own rank card for your leveling system. This video was accidentally literally came in my mind because I recently met Snowflake owner, the person who made this package. And if you don't know what we're gonna use in today's video, it's taking gonna be the Canva cord. Canva cord is a very nice package, amazing uh, rank card system I ever seen uh, for leveling systems, and it's pretty easy and useful if you wanted to use it and we're gonna learn how we can do it in today's video it was a pleasure meeting a snowflake the owner of Canva court and it really made me happy to be honest make sure to the like hit that subscribe button and comment down below if this video helped you you can comment down below as well if you have any questions i respond to every single comment i get in my videos um you can join the discord server if you want, if you want faster support and yeah that's pretty much it so without further ado guys i want to just a straight get into the video so here we are let's just go ahead and see the canva cord so canva cord is basically an npm package and it's pretty dope honestly i use it for my own bought for like i did a lot of commissions for a lot of other people and i use this thing and it's amazing it's just awesomely made very clear with any bugs and as you can see we have a lot of uh things we can do in here we have the examples i'm gonna link this as well in the description but if you just search canva cord in npm website as well you can just find it but let's just go ahead and first find a leveling system where it exists so basically you should make sure that you have already this bit uh, what is it called leveling system existed on your bot if you do so then you're you're more than fine to go However, if you don't have any kind of leveling systems, there's going to be a suggestion right now on top right for you if you don't know how you can do that. So after that, you can watch this video. But if you already have a leveling system, um, you will be all right. I'm going to teach you how you can do that. And yeah, let's just get into it. We're just going to go ahead and start VS Code. And um, I think it's going to be a very interesting video. Let me just be honest here. And for sake of this video, I'm going to use proxy my verified bot on Discord. Uh, because uh, why not? Because I already have a leveling system in here. And I use embeds for rank. But uh, I'm to change it so i use a module called discord xp which is the best compatible and easily made package for leveling system and it's pretty dope honestly not gonna lie we're gonna go ahead and first install canva core because it's taking a package so as you can see i am in my rank command make sure i really make a rank command and you know put put all the requirements so if you want to get the guild id or you know the name of the user or maybe the level of the user you need to require some stuff from your database if you have discord xp for your leveling system which i teach you guys teach you i taught you guys on the leveling system video we're gonna use and get this information first for getting it we just have to do user that await the levels that fetch so it's gonna fetch the levels from that user who use it and it's gonna be target that idea and if you don't know who target is pretty simple target is equal to message that mentioned the user the first the first person who's gonna get mentioned or just the author of the message who sent it so we're just gonna go ahead and first um install it so we're going to do npmi canva core if i'm not all right so now we are installed canva core which means we are finally free and be able to use this command without a problem so we're just going to go ahead and first require canva core and um this is important to understand what we're going to do in today's video because i just don't want you guys to copy and paste so first of all we're going to go ahead and require canva core because why not it's this thing that we are also going to use for every single module that we install so now right now i'm gonna go ahead and um simply just start using the getting the data so we already get the data by the user so if you don't have the user as well it's just gonna say you don't have enough data and xp try sending some messages basically so i'm also gonna remove this one because we don't need it and now we're just gonna go ahead and start sending the card as you can see i put some new stuff here basically so i just put a rank thing here like i said as i explained you just have to make sure that you have uh, either leveling system discord xp or either or either your own system you just have to make sure that you collect the data from mongodb or any kind of other stuff so make sure you collect the data and that's where we're gonna start the rank carrot so i'm gonna explain this here const rank is equal to new this canva code of rank so basically i told the bot that it should start making a canva code rank make a new one and then in the avatar section we put message.author.display avatar url and this is where it is important so some of the players are the users have the animated uh or something they're not dynamic if i if that makes sense so their profile picture is not dynamic and in canva code this cannot be happened because we don't want that to be a gif it cannot be a gif as long as i know it only can be a stable picture so dynamic should be false and the format should be png so now in the set query is p we're gonna do user.xp which we define it in here for the leveling system discord xp system that i use for myself and the required xp is gonna be again a needed xp uh, which is gonna be the area for here as you can see this is an example by the way for this how it's gonna work 
so as you can see in here see a 316 you know this is the required one for me and it, i'm just full of look at this do you see the 388k is this a required one and this is what i have i guess so now we just have to make sure the status as well message that member that person says status you can also do message that author as well message that author that person says status and then the progress bar is going to be orange i've selected the orange for the hex color code and it's going to be a color for sure and the username is going to be message that author that username and the discriminator is going to be message that author that discriminator i guess so we can also do this message that author that discriminator let's just as well um and now we're going to do rank that build and then then it's going to create a new data and it's going to do on attachment that new discord that discord that message attachment data funny.png message that channel that sent attachment that's it so it's gonna send the attachment and also in here it says funny.png you can name it anything you want but make sure that dot png is available so basically what it did means it's taking can, can you see the open original here so if i click on open original and then save this thing somewhere for myself let's just say on my pc right now i'm gonna show you an example as you can see as you can see the file name is funny.png so this is gonna be the name of the picture on discord or whatever when they want to save it um put it on funny.png you can pull out color whatever you want to you can also color something very better and creative you just have to play around with this thing to do this i just want to put it a simple name so you won't have any bugs or problems so i'm just gonna put it on keep it on funny.png and that's pretty much it you got your system ready to go nothing special and any problem Problems. let's test it out and see how it works gonna do rank again and um, it should take two things because i'm hosting this on my hosting service and this is the i also host it on my pc so it's gonna send a picture in just a minute or second because it's the times host and it's gonna be a little bit slow there we go there we are we got this thing here as you can see we got a required xp we got our picture here without any problems and um yeah pretty creative and good honestly you just have to play around with this thing and also if you want to set the level as well it is so simple i'm gonna create an example like i said you can just do it with wallet whatever you want to do so let me see uh, we have something called documentation for canva cord if you check it out I'm gonna show you right now. So as you can see in here, we have something called documentation. You can just go over there and then click on this thing here. As you can see, it's a whole website to sell, which is pretty dope, honestly, not gonna lie. If you click on documentation in here, we got all things ready to go, baby. Every single thing you need to know. Canva cord, uh, the functions for the Canva cord, and let's just say we want the level, right? We just have to type level, and it's automatically gonna find us, set level. If you do this, there we go, how it's gonna work. Set level. So if I wanna set the level, it's gonna pick the data, text, or display. So for example, if I set the level, simply just have to do set level, and then I just have to do uh, user.level. That's it, nothing else. Literally, that's it. So you're ready to go. You just have to check the documentation for each kind of function they got. They got a lot of functions. I just can't say that. They got a lot of functions. So um, um, it's, it can be really creative with this thing. Oh, there we go level 62 my eye level is finally shown up i think that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching thanks again for snowflake for letting me know doing today's video he's an awesome person and also a special thanks to the people who made this thing such as snowflake z safe if i'm not wrong i'm not explaining it wrong and andrews 20691 i never met him but i really want to meet him he's a very good creative person as well he was the person who made discord player music as well he's a very creative dude and uh zyro so for so far i know it's snowflake and i hope i can contact the other persons thanks for watching for today's video this is dashcraft and i hope i helped you with this video this is dashcraft and i'm out peace out everyone have a great day